Hello everybody and welcome back to the dev server, probably the last video I'm doing tonight. Um it's gonna be closing not that long. Um wanted to touch upon something that hasn't really been um looked at. Um well two things. One the replay system and one the single missions. Well, two the single missions. Now, first the replays. First of all, it's not just um well let's delete this one. It doesn't just show the replay, it shows um your score. So here we see my match on Ash River, which was in my last video. There was actually three enemy players and two of ours. We was on the German team, they was on the Russian. Time played 13 minutes and 54 seconds. Arcade battle, weather clear. Now we're going to quickly check. Um, let's just rename it to something. Uh, I don't know. Test file 1. And let's have a quick look at the replay. So load it up, got the usual loading, I'll just pause the video for it now this is the new replay, um, what the hell is that, um, okay I think that's like a placeholder plane, um is this going fast or something, um right, player, um, we don't want to be Sam um, okay, um maybe it needs some tweaking, I think people are still joining, I think that's it um, we're going to speed it up a little bit. So we've got a nice little control panel here, which is something, you know, welcome. I, I like it. Um, but I'm not sure what's actually happening. Um, right, things seem to be happening now. Sam Pedro, okay. I still haven't joined the game, so obviously... Obviously there's a lot more preloading than I expect when joining these games. Um, Time seems a bit weird, um... Ah, here we are. Oh, oh, oh. Right, show markers in replay. Yes. I assume that's yes. Free spectator mode. Yep, that seems to be working, so... Oh, it seems to be working even without it, though. Oh, no! On one you have to click, on the other you... don't. Right, free camera. Oh, hold it. No, I don't want that. Ah, and click. Ah, so that's how it. So clicking that will take me back. Switch to player view, to full view, F5. Switch to player view. Ah, so this is. This is actually really good. Um, one of the things I've always really been annoyed at with War Thunder, um, I've always had to, because of the bandy cam taking up, um, you know, it uses up, um, I'm not sure what the exact word is. Um, it affects the performance because basically it has to run and compress the files at the same time. Or something along those lines. Um, so obviously if I've always had to rely on the replay system for some of my videos, but um, here, um, no, you know, the replays look a lot better. Um, I haven't got any markers showing up, so maybe it still needs fixing. Maybe I've deactivated it. Got the score down here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how this is why the markers aren't showing up but this definitely seems a much better improvement than what we had um, get the scoreboard up I assume yep scoreboard this is really good um, <laughs> well um, all the things I've added into this patch this is probably the one that's actually impressed the most um, not because it's really important but because um, you know it's gone from really useless to borderline, well, borderline use, just to really good. I mean, like I was saying, I had to re, um, rely on replays, um, and they weren't exactly very good. Um, this looks a lot better. Um, wow, I'm actually, guys have really excelled themselves. Okay, it's not the best replay system in the world, but it's a hell of a lot better than what we used to have. Now, can I just click between the different players as well, without having to, and I see what they're flying. Oh, this is really good. I'm actually really shocked. Um, it, it, like I said, it's not perfect. It's not actually showing the markers. Um, oh, because I don't write down as well, just as usual. I'm just going to keep it going for a little bit, because I want to see um, when I get close to the enemy later on. Um, or if it shows the kill cams. I don't think it will, but... Um, Wait until we've been hit here, and then, yeah, we've been hit. It's not showing stuff being fired either. 
Okay, so there might be some problems with the markers. Yeah, to be fair, that's a problem it's always had, but um, I wasn't expecting them to fix it. But, um, well, I was expecting them to. Um, no, I, you know, obviously you won't expect a problem to be fixed, but um, you know, I wasn't expecting it in this patch, obviously. Well, so we're just going to speed up to um, because I've got a kill just down this hill somewhere. I don't want to go too fast in case I miss it. Um, watch my effortly bad driving. Well, just going through. The FPS isn't that great at the moment. It seems slightly less than what it was in the game, or I can't exactly remember what it was in the game. But um, right, I'm going to pause the video here. And we're going to free spectator mode. Right, we're going to click the markers on. Ah, oh, sorry. Right, um, let's go. Right, on, off, on. Oh, so it does show a marker, but it's literally just a little red bar. Um, if we go to the player view, see if this is any better. Obviously, you could do some tweaking there as well, possibly. You haven't got a crosshair or anything. We don't get, you know, what damage you've done. We've got the chat as well, I've just realised. It's possible I haven't figured out all the settings or set it all up properly, but yeah, this is really good. We've got a little thing saying how far the match is, how long it lasted. Um, yeah, we'll probably leave the match there. Um, we've seen enough, really. Because I got two kills there, and it wasn't showing anything up. Um, I suppose that's one bad thing about it. Um, doesn't show what kills you got. But, um, that's a hell of a lot of an improvement over what we actually have at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's the new replay system that is in War Thunder now. Now the other thing I wanted to show was the single missions. Now we got um, well, I've looked at them before. We got the Norwegian campaign and the Spanish Civil War. Now, I'm not really going to look at the Spanish Civil War, they're mainly low tier um, aircraft. What I am going to look at is, um, well, I'm going to play one of the Norwegian campaign, hopefully. Now, I haven't really got any missions with big bombers. Um, uh, no, actually, that's kind of a. No, actually, I'm going to go with Alone in the Light, because this mentions a submarine fleet. Uh, I'll try and get both missions done if I can. But um, we've been told um, quite categorically, I remember, submarines were never going to appear, so I'm kind of interested to know how this is going to work because we're obviously told it's a submarine fleet so is it is Gaijin sort of changing their mind on the naval aspect um, and the Norwegian campaign did involve a lot of naval battles so I'm wondering if I don't know they're going to test out some of the basic stuff in the single players maybe new ships um, maybe AI pathing that sort of thing at the moment they just sort of sail like on two, two towns or Fjords, they just sail towards a single point. I'm wondering if they're going to, you know, if they have add evasive maneuvers and stuff. Um, okay, that maybe not. That's not maybe too useful for um, against aircraft, but we'll just see how they've done it. I'm um, going to pause the video, of course, just to skip the boring bits. Right, so we are in the battle or something. Um, night, night battle. Well, not night, night mission. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Please tell me they haven't noticed me already. They don't seem to have noticed me. Um, right. Oh, but now this is find enemy fleet. Um, we'll try this mission anyway. We've got, um, we've got bombs or... Seems like a ground attack mission. You know, just to give you a rough idea of what these missions are going to be about. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got most of them unlocked, except for one of the German ones. Um, I think you need, like, four tier four aircraft. I've only got in the German line. So we're just flying along. Now I do quite like single player battles, um, single missions, sorry. Um, it's one, you get RP without damaging your aircraft. Um, um, two, well, they're just generally funny. In general, I mean, you get a lot of aircraft in some of the missions. Um, I think there's a Russian mission where you have to deal with, like, must be 50 plus Stukas or... Okay, it's not too fun when you have to actually shoot them all down, but, um, Still, you get a scale you don't really get in the multiplayer part of the game. You get 16 players on each team, and but you're usually only doing like individual fights. You, the biggest formation you see is like three or four players. I've, you know, I've never seen a big formation except in Guardian Angel events, which is like 
Well, it's AI bombers. The one bad thing I don't like about it is if you get no um, compensation if you do a mission you fail, which um, lately I've been doing a lot of missions on realistic, um, thinking it would be an easy mission. It's turned out to be actually not easy. Spent 20 minutes to half hour doing it and got, you know, no points. Um, which, you know, I failed. I'm not asking for loads, but uh, like on GTA or something, if you do a mission on there, you will get a few points or silver lines, um, even if you fail, just usually enough to cover your expenses, you know, your ammo or, you know, the fact you've just spent 20 minutes on a mission you didn't succeed. Um, maybe others disagree on that, you know, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, yeah, um, single player missions are also good because, you know, you get the points but you don't damage your aircraft. Um, which is, you know, quite good. Because, you know, every other way you damage your aircraft unless you're using golden eagles. So you can get points towards your, you know, hard to get aircraft. And you don't have to pay for it, hopefully. Now I may pause the video in a minute because it seems, um... Oh, I need Bergen. No, oh, I can't remember where that is in Norway. I might pause the video in a sec because obviously it's taken uh, quite a long time. I'll pause it now and I'll unpause it when something happens. Now I'm just going to unpause it here because I think we are getting quite near um, to the where we're going and plus there are a lot of searchlights so I'm guessing something's going to happen in a minute. May see some more turn on in a sec. Oh, there we go. Not having been this close to the searchlights so far, I'm not going to attack them. Now this mission's name is actually quite you know, ridiculously accurate, uh, alone in the dark. Oh. You know, well, not quite alone. I've got um, my little buddy sitting here. <laughs> well, he's not very talkative. Oh, yeah. Nope. But if, uh, to do one of these missions in real life, that would, it's not something I'd want to do. I mean, there must be so many planes that, you know, people missing from just, you know, flying one of these in the dark and just, you know, just not, never been found, maybe been hit by a stray shell, you know, controlled flight into terrain, and just, you know, even today they're still finding aircraft and stuff. Not necessarily in Norway, um, I think Alaska there's still quite a few missing, which is, you know, fairly similar geography, mountain, snow. Right, it's, de it's definitely not a job I'd want to do, um, one of these solo missions. I, I don't know if they ever did many of them, or... Must have done a few, I'm guessing. Well, no, I suppose, you know, before the, comp before the whole video gets too depressing. Uh, we're just coming up to... what town's this? Okay, I can't really read the name thing. Um, we've gone past Bergen, we went, went near Bergen. I know it's a major town in Norway, can't quite remember where it is. I, d I don't know if it's near Oslo, or is it further north? Um, Oslo being the capital of Norway. Um, it was just coming up, I may pause the video again in a minute, I'll, I'll, I am pausing in, an, in anticipation of something big happening and um, yeah, nothing's actually happened, um, coming over another little village, there's so many of them around here, I don't know if it's like that in real life in Norway, but there's just so many of them, and I'm surprised I haven't been attacked yet, maybe they haven't actually spotted me, maybe, maybe they just know I'm, oh no, oh, maybe, no, maybe scratch the uh, I'm pausing, uh, sorry, scratch the pause in the video, we seem to be under attack, um, okay, come on, come on, oh dear, oh, I hate it when they do that, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, um, uh, not see mission objective, find the enemy fleet, get height for rape, so it's not actually a German submarine fleet, ah, oh, so that's kind of disappointing, still a good mission, but I was hoping we'd find out, you know, something about submarines seems a bit, you know, misleading to say find the submarine fleet and then, yeah, we're not actually going to find a fleet of submarines, we're going to find a fleet of destroyers. So, we seem to have annoyed the enemy, get hyped for radio transmission. Why we can't just fly upwards or fly towards England or the UK and just radio when we're near, I don't know, it's not like... Maybe, there's, maybe we're just the Pathfinders or something? Oh dear. Pocket Wolf 190, um... Yeah, run. 
Now, this hasn't got any defensive armament, um, like pretty much every other twin engine um, fighter or bomb in the game. I believe the Junkers 88 was going to be, like, no defensive armament. I don't know why one of my engines is harder than the other. Um, oh, yeah, like I said, I think the Junker 88 was going to be unarmed originally, but, um, it, you know, in the end, somebody said, oh, I'll put guns on it. You know, they put guns on it, weighed it down. It was still a fast bomber, but, you know, they wanted something like the Mosquito, and uh, I think, I think ironically, they had, um, I can't remember what the name was, but it was something like German for fast bomber, and ironically, the RAF was the one who actually ended up fulfilling all the requirements. <laughs> I mean, this is a nice little plane, um, this is made of wood, or a lot of it was made of wood, um, you know, to save on, um, you know, essential materials. I think Goering, um, he was sort of the head of the Luftwaffe, I think, um, I think that was his official title. Um, he was sort of complaining, like, you know, Germany was trying to build all these really highly advanced machines with really rare aluminium and other metals, trying to save as much of it as they can. And then Britain, who has plenty of it, just decides not to use it and build it out of wood. Oh, that was. Oh, we're just. Sorry, must have annoyed them. Oh, we can't get the aluminium, and then they have tons of it, and they just don't bother using it. But, uh, yeah, well, we, you know, made a good little fighter, bomber, slash fighter bomber out of it. He hasn't said a single damn thing on the way here. Last time I take him as a co-pilot, I'll probably pause the video again, because nothing much is happening here. Oh, well, um, I'm pausing the video, because we are under attack. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just randomly resume the video. Like, oh, by the way, we died. Um, come on. I suppose we're not outrunning these, I mean, Unless I'm mistaken, I thought the mosquito was pretty fast. Um, I don't know, we seem to be not doing very well. Well, I suppose all that fuel we're carrying doesn't help. We've got like 260 odd minutes, which is 60, 120, 180, uh, nearly 4 hours or so fuel. Or well, over 4 hours. Oh, come on. And the damage model seems a bit stretched and more than usual. Yeah. Oh, leaking fuel. Um, that's actually good and bad. It's bad because obviously we need fuel and they might set it afire. Good because it means we're hopefully lose some weight. Um, can we not see this bloody transmission yet? It's this is ridiculous. We're surely high enough, or surely we should be flying towards England and or the UK. So you know, at least I have to. Bloody return to base of fuel or something eventually. I don't know why we're just loitering around bloody Norway. Why do they better need to refuel? One of our engines is overheating a little bit. That's, I do not want to lose that engine. I'm just weapon full speed on that. It's not good for the engine, but sod it. Oh, come on. I think this is the last checkpoint as well, so I'm going to do a little dive. Pick up some speed. Oh god, shouldn't have stopped manoeuvring. Right, come on, we can do it. Even if we get hit and blown out of the sky now, we should just about make it, you know, our flaming wreckage. Come on, pick up the speed. Come on. Did we make it? Oh, thank god. Just as we lose our engine. Okay, we can dive away. Mission accomplished. Okay, that was an unexpectedly long mission, which is what I was talking about earlier. You know, you go into a mission, oh, it'll be easy, and it takes absolutely forever. And also shows how big Norway is as a map. Um, <laughs> I'll try and get another mission in. I may actually try and split this in two, you know, one for the replay, one for the missions. Or one replay and one mission or something, and then the other one with another mission. So that took a lot longer than I expected. Um, yeah, so there's the Canberra's um, new loading screen. The other ones are with the Hortons, the F7Fs, and I don't think the Japanese or Russians have one. Um, I haven't seen one anyway. Now, I actually um, split the video in two at this point because um, I did another mission. Uh, the video came to over half an hour, so um, yeah, I'm going to do two videos. One will be the last one to deal with the la next mission. It'll uh, probably be the last dev server video. Um, I don't think we're going to get any more dev servers. Um, technically, it's meant to have closed 
about 15 minutes ago, unless I've got the times wrong. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you'll watch the next one. But if you don't, leave a like. If you like the video, leave feedback. Um, subscribe if you like these videos. And I'll see you next time or in the next video, which I'll be leaving a link to.